if you want to take your birding one step further, you need to get into bird sounds. The beginning of the breeding season, spring, is the ideal time to do so because birds are now singing often from exposed branches, they're displaying, they want to be seen. And if you happen to be in the northern hemisphere like I am right now, you have another advantage. Trees only have small or even no leaves and that makes it much easier to spot the calling or singing bird that you're looking for. The long and loud vocalizations of birds are referred to as song. They can be pretty melodious, complex and quite characteristic and that makes them a good starting point for getting to know bird sounds. European robins have a wistful touch to their song. The song of the black cap sounds slightly similar, but more positive and excited. Not all birds sing a marvelous melody. Marsh tit and Eurasian nuthatch are just two examples. The primary purposes of bird song are to acoustically mark a territory and to attract mates. Too bad that we can't decipher the male's message. The females even hear details about his qualities and fitness. Let's slow him down by four times. Do you understand him now? While many songbirds sing, not all do. None of the vocalizations of a hooded crow, scientifically a songbird, sound anything close to a song. Oh, look at that. It's a tree creeper building a nest. No song heard, should we take that into the episode? I guess we should. Then there are calls, that's a general term for all the other vocalizations. Calls are usually much shorter and less conspicuous than songs, and that makes them harder to memorize, unfortunately, but you should not leave them out because once birds stop singing, calls are all you have for your birding by ear. These are the two most common call types of the chaffinch. If you're new to bird sounds, start small. Get to know the species around you and don't let the whole diversity overwhelm you. Try to listen to a song carefully and hear the characteristics. Is it slow or fast paced? Does it sound happy or melancholic, warbling or metallic? I know in the beginning it all blends together, but once you've mastered the most common species, you will pick out songs that you haven't heard before. The most obvious song in European urban areas is highly recognizable. The opera-like tune of the Eurasian blackbird. Try to see the bird. When you're solving a mystery by actually finding the bird, this experience will stick to you. And chances are much higher that you remember the species when you hear it again later. Use your phone to record bird sounds that you don't know. You can then easily compare with recordings on your bird ID app or online. For some species, there are nice mnemonics that might help you. The common rose finch, for example, sings nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
I hope that helped a little bit. Enjoy your spring, keep your ears open, and stay safe.